Gonna have to be. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Belsif. And as soon as I start a video, a freaking train comes. Listen. So I went out today and I got myself a vacuum. I ended up getting a rigid vacuum, but I got the, the better one. I didn't get the plastic one, I got the stainless steel one. 6.0 freaking suck factor on it. And it's, I think it's, I don't know, so many, so many gallons. Put that many. Frick, how many gallons was that now? I know, I ain't doing it. Oh, here we go. 10 US gallons. So that's not bad. It's a decent size. I did go out and get myself a DeWalt battery operated vacuum that has a hose on it. They had really good reviews on it, but I got it and I thought the thing was an absolute piece of shit. As soon as I freaking cook it out of the box, I felt the hose. Tiny little hose on it. Not much suck. Not for me. I know what you're gonna say. Go get the fuel stuff. Makita or Milwaukee or whatever the hell you want to call it. Or whatever the other one is. But no, I already had these guns. And these guns have been great. They've been through hell and back. And they're still working. The only problem is I had one battery go dead. So I did pick up one of these uh, 20 volt XR DeWalt grinders because I need new batteries. So I figured the battery was $89 and that was on sale for $190. So why not just get the freaking grinder? Because I've been wanting the grinder. I want to start collecting some of these tools because the cordless stuff is handy to have nowadays it is. Look at that thing. That's freaking decent. But that's what I ended up doing. So I just wanted to give you an update on that today. Went by and seen a buddy's boat. Dennis there, I don't know if you ever remember him on the channel there. He bought himself a 42 foot fountain he did. But he's just trying to work some bugs out of her. What <laughs> is oh, that? Just for the Oh, dick. We're gonna be going for a ride in that soon. So if you wanna see twin 502 race engine fountain, dirty old Bilsev, leave a comment down below. Why wouldn't you? What I come on here for today is the golf cart again, of course. I wanted to show you the headlights. I finally got the headlights hooked up and look at them, right? They have like uh, freaking ring around the rosies on her. What else does it have? It has a horn. Careful. Easy. It has four way flashers. That's pretty freaking decent. Look at that. It's got turn signals. Front and back. No, they're not backwards. I flipped the thing up before I went to the front. It's got high beam and low beam. Friggin' right it does. That's pretty friggin' decent. So here's my question. This thing has got everything one of them four-wheeler e-bikes have. You know that you sit inside? That you see like multiple driving around Sarnia. But yet you can't drive this with fully working brake lights and everything else in Sarnia or anywhere. Figure that one out. I think they need to really, really get down and dirty on these laws and kind of make up the freaking mind on how to do this stuff because they're just cocking us all over there. I got my sill plates on one side. Still gonna put the other one on, but I got that one on. I did a little bit of work to this thing since you've been on the channel last, but that's what I do, okay? Sometimes I just get involved with myself. So if you're hooking up these lights, you run the wire into the old Kabaruski here. I run it down through the hole here. It comes with its own little Fuse, I run the brake lights up here and, the, and then across and back the other way. Now, it also has brake lights, by the way. It's got a brake light pad on it that actually works. Decent. So she even has brake lights, just so you know. There is a part you can run that wire down the frame and up. Now, what I did was, because I got these speaker pods, oh yeah, by the way, they're installed and it has this, you know, the uh, Rockford Foz gates in her, which are pretty neat. I put all the stuff in here. So I drilled a hole through here. I come in through here with the wiring for the headlights. And down there, I drilled another big hole. I don't know if you can see in there or not, for the wiring to go out behind the headlight because you can't see nothing. But anyways, drill a big hole. Cup holders come out and you can drill the hole through, but you have to pull the headlight off and drill that way. You can't drill this way, you have to drill that way. So there you go. I got the roof back on with a little slope to her. As you see, like my three inches I took out of her. It's not too bad. Oh, by the way, yeah, right. My seat covers were the wrong ones. Remember we were working on that last time? Yeah, seat covers, no good. So I got some North seat covers coming in for it. So they'll be here soon. And then we can start on that. But the other ones fit these seats. So we're gonna change these so they match the front. But who wants to hear the stereo, anyone? I can fire it up for you if you wanna hear it. 
Ah, you know what it sounds like. There's copyright on it anyways. But the stir works really good. And this, that, the other friggin' thing. Hey, look it. Still says charge, Captain. Odd decent. I left that on. But there's how she's coming so far. We got the lights functional, the stereo functional. One kick rail on. Back seat installed. Got to put a bolt through here and we got to straighten the rear end. The rear end's like this way on this side, just a hair. Because somebody caught it on something, I can see that. And it's missing a U-bolt. So we'll get that coming. And then we can straighten the rear end up because it was taking off part of the freaking fender on this side. When it had people in the back. So we got to fix that, which is coming up. And then this thing should be ready to go out the door. So there's a quick update on that, how that's coming. Leave a comment down below, let me know. I need a poll actually. Here's a poll for you. Should I sell decent or should I sell this one? Either way, I'm gonna ask six grand or best offer on both. So you let me know in the comments below what you think I should sell, decent or blue balls, and let me know. Somebody said to me I should have called blue uh, decent two stroker, because then I would have had two strokes and blue balls. I didn't, so that's what it is. <gasps> you get groceries? A little bit. Emerson, big. <laughs> How's work today? Fine. Good. Look at all the food. We don't eat around here. But anyways, that's about it. I just wanted to give you a quick update there and let you know what's going on. Hope everybody's having a good day like me and not doing anything I ain't doing. And like I said, remember, leave a comment down below if you want to see if you want to go for a ride on a 42-foot fountain. Leave your comments down below. But love you all. Thanks for subscribing. And you know what to do for now.